Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. In today's video I will be talking about the Lunar Festival, this new seasonal event that just started yesterday and that will last until February 13th. So this is an interesting event that includes a couple of items that you can farm. This is not as good as other seasonal events such as the Wintervale event during which you can really make a lot of gold but there are still three items or four items in particular that I want to mention and that I think are still worth having up on your auction house. So this is why I'm making this brief video and hopefully you will be able to make some gold with these different items. So before I start, I'm just going to explain how you can easily access the Lunar Festival. So this festival is located here in Moonglade in Kalimdor. And basically in order to access the festival, you need to go here in Orgrimmar for Old Player, you just need to make this quick quest. You can buy the fireworks there. And then once you've launched all the fireworks and completed the quest, you will receive like this teleporter and you can just teleport directly to Moonglade. For Alliance player, everything is happening outside the gates of Storin. So this is exactly the same. So in total, it will probably take you a few minutes to access uh, Moonglade. Once you're in Moonglade, you want to come here on this small terrace. This is where you have the two vendors that we are interested in. So you have the first one, Valadar Starsong, and then Fariel Starsong. So in order to purchase some of these items that are interesting, you will need some of the coin of ancestry. These coins are not too difficult to get. Basically, you can circle around Kalimdor, the Eastern Territories, and Northrend. And in each of the big cities in each specific region, you can find an elder that will just give you one of these coins. So for the different items that we will talk about in this video, you need different quantities of these coins, but in general, it should not take too long. So let's start with what I think is the least interesting item. So with the Lunar Festival event, you are able to buy two pets. One that is the Festival Lantern for Horde player and the Lunar Lantern for Alliance player. So these pets, as you can see, are cost 50 uh, coins of Ancestry, which is quite a lot. And unfortunately, as you can see here, they are not worth very, like, a lot of gold. So here for the Lunar Lantern, the average price is around 20k and this is the same for the festival lantern. So both pets tend to sell for only around 20k and as you can see the sell rate is very low for a pet. Only 0 0.02 and 0 0.03. So these 50 coins of ancestry will probably take you still more than an hour even more to farm. So this is why I would personally not recommend you to farm it yourself. What you can do instead is maybe just keep an eye on these two pets. And if the prices are really going low, because sometimes, especially after the, the event, some people are posting them for less than 10K, then maybe you want to buy them and you will most likely be able to make a profit out of these different pets. But keep in mind that they are selling very slow. So even if you invest, this is not guaranteed that you will be able to make a benefit. So this is the first two items that I wanted to mention. And in my opinion, they are not really the items we want to farm during this festival. The two other items are two cosmetic items and you can buy the recipes in order to craft them directly here by talking to Fariel Stars. So this time each pattern costs five coins. So it's only 10. It will probably take you 20, maybe like a little bit more, 20, 30 minutes in order to get the different coins. You have different maps that are available on Warhead where you can really see where all the different elders are located. So this is easy to, for you to just go get 10 and then come back. So in order to craft these two cosmetics, you will need to have tailoring. And I would say that the only annoying part is the fact that you need uh, to have 250 in tailoring but again this is pretty easy to upgrade so if you haven't really started tailoring yet and you want to craft these different cosmetic items you can just 
create an alt and very easily find everything you need on the auction house. And then normally in less than an hour, you should be at 250. So once you have these two patterns, you can craft two cosmetic pieces that are very interesting. So let me show them right now. You have the festival dress and the festival suit. So this is just two cosmetic pieces that people will be able to use during these two weeks as it works for all the different seasonal cosmetic items people won't be able to use them after that but you will still be able to craft and sell these items after the end of these two weeks and people will still be able to collect the appearance they will just not be able to use it so as you can see the festival dress has a sell rate of 0 0.10 and the festival suit a sell rate of 0 0.14 when it comes to the average value of these items as you can see on European realms for the festival suit it's between 5,000 500 and 8,000 and as you can see on many realms people are still not crafting them so there is still a lot of room for you to craft these items and make some gold with and also you can see that throughout the year these items remain at more than like 5 6k so this is pretty interesting the festival dress on EU realms is worth between 5,700 and 7,400 and again a lot of realms don't even have one available so this is the perfect moment to start crafting these items. On US realms the festival dress is worth between 5,000 and 6,300 and the festival suite is worth between 4,900 and 8,700 and again as you can see many many realms don't have any posted on their auction house so even here you can see that on Argentone, one of the most populated realm and especially one of the realm that is working the best for transmog pieces it's still selling for 7,000 at the moment so for an item that has a sell rate of 0 0.15 this is really good and keep in mind that this sell rate is going to increase because the, the event just started yesterday and probably it will reach 0 0.40 0 0.50 at the end of the two weeks so in order to craft these two items, you really just require like a few items that are not difficult to, to gather. So first of all, you need two vendor items that are pretty easy to get. And then some bolt of rune cloth. Each of them should cost really less than 10 gold. So this is very easy. The only item that might be a little bit challenging is the fire bloom. So if you don't have a, a nerbotist and that you want to farm these plants yourself, you can go to Marodon. And you can kill some of the like mobs that are there and they will loot some of these fire blooms otherwise i'm sure that on most realms you can like find them on the auction house so overall i would say that it's pretty easy to craft these different items in my opinion these items will be able to sell quite well for the next two weeks and again keep in mind that once the event ends these two vendors will disappear and you won't be able to get the different recipes and again you are able to craft these two items and to sell them even after the end of the two weeks so in my opinion you should definitely do that this is always great to have cosmetic items up on the auction house they always tend to sell and especially when the event is taking place people can use them so they will sell very very fast so that's pretty much it guys for today's video i hope you will be able to make a little bit of gold i know that this is not some crazy items this is not for instance the minion of grumpus mount but this is still something that i'm sure you can benefit from i will be back very soon with more videos but in the meantime let me know in the comments what you've been able to achieve so far with this event and if you've been able to sell a lot of this cosmetic so i will see you all very soon and until then, wishing you all the best. Bye.